A new possible cure for diabetes. Apple fights the government, a ban on robot sex, and a big Xbox One update is on the way. These are today's bits. While it's not ready yet, a new possible cure for diabetes might just be right around the corner. Well, at least a way to prevent the disease from happening anyways. The best part is you won't need to get a shot, you'll only need to take a pill. According to a research article in the Journal of Investigation, a pill has been developed and given to mice that blocked the buildup of a specific acid in the pancreas that led to diabetes. There's a lot more scientific things to read up on, so I will link that article in the description. But they are looking to move to human trials soon, and if the pill acts the same way as it did in mice, assuming the FDA approves it, we might actually have a way to avoid the disease altogether. Apple might be in some hot water from the United States because they are refusing backdoor access into their messaging system. The Justice Department served Apple with a court order demanding real-time access to Apple's iMessenger. After Apple's refusal, they're looking to take them to court to get their demands met. No means no. Tim Cook said that he would never allow this to happen, and they said that he would have to quote unquote, cart us out in a box before it did. Way to go, Timmy. Way to go. Timmy! A new campaign has been launched in an effort to ban the assembly of robots that can be used for sex. The campaign leader, Dr. Kathleen Richardson, states that there is no need for such development and thus it should be illegal. While the people working on the sex doll industry says that there is. Go figure. The doctor says that robots would reinforce traditional stereotypes of women on how relationships can be nothing more than physical. And Kim Davis already made a public statement saying that she will not issue marriage licenses to a robot and a human who resemble the same sex. She did say that she would allow a man to marry a girl robot, however, as long as they love each other. I'm just kidding. She didn't actually say that. I'm just making that up. For all you Xbox One's fan, a new update is due in November that will supposedly increase performance by almost 50% in some popular gaming features. Unfortunately, no more information is known on exactly what those features include, but they made it sound really, really good. Also, with this update, we'll include backwards compatibility with Xbox 360 games. Not all of them, but as they said, hundreds of games will work. I personally think this could be a great move for Xbox, of course, assuming that it actually works as intended. Time will tell. A little bonus story today comes out of the iOS world as a well-known iOS hacker, I Hate Snow, published a video showing he already jailbroke iOS 9. It was shown on an older phone, so no guarantee that it's gonna work on the new iPhone 6S, but hey, a little bit of hope definitely goes a long way. Thanks for watching, do the like and subscribe thing below, and have a nice day.